Welcome as we gather to celebrate. Join us there. And the second collection this weekend is for our Parish Maintenance and Repair Fund. Many thanks for your generosity. and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, we gather on this solemn feast of the baptism of the Lord as we close this Christmas season, mindful of the Lord's presence with us now in our lives. But first we ask forgiveness for the sins we have committed. Christ have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who when Christ had been baptized in the River Jordan, may always be well-pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, all you who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come receive grain and eat. Come without paying and without cost. Drink wine and milk. Wine and rich fare. Come to me heedfully. Listen that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant that benefits assured to David. As I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander of nations, so shall you summon a nation you knew not, and nations that knew you not shall run to you, because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, who has glorified you. Seek the Lord, while let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God, who is generous and forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. For just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down, and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God. And everyone who loves the Father (coughs) loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God are not burdensome. For whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world? but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, that testify, the Spirit, the water and the blood, and the three are of one accord. If we accept human testimony, the testimony of God is surely greater. Now the testimony of God is this, that he has testified on behalf of his Son. The word of the Lord. you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. This is what John the Baptist proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It happened in those days that coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens being torn open and the spirit like a dove descending upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, you are my beloved son. With you, I am well pleased. The gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Well, no one asked for our advice, nor considered our counsel. Without a nod or an acclamation from us, you and I were conceived in the miraculous moment of human love and began our pathway into life. For nine months, we cherished the dark security of our mother's womb. We knew the gentle slap of a doctor became its newest screaming citizen. What a journey and it had only begun. For most of us, but a few weeks later, another journey of life would begin. Cradled in the loving arms of our mother or godmother, we were bundled up in long white robes to unseal for each of us the flowing waters of the fountain of baptism. Again, without our consent or expressed wish, you and I were granted membership in a people, God's people, and a family, God's family that now sits all around us here, and as powerless as we remained, that act of our parents and godparents, even if coerced or nuanced by family ties or ethnic pressures, was nothing less than an extraordinary act of love, for it gave us lived and hopefully cherished each day. My friends, the graphic and familiar scene of today's gospel tells us that Jesus' baptisms were meant to be a prototype of ours not to wash away sins or give us membership in his body as not that would have an eternal ending. For just as he had burst forth from the darkness of the virgin's womb to the brilliance of human life in that manger, so now he stepped from the waters of the Jordan that day to leave the shadows of his hidden childhood behind to come. My friends, when Clovis, the king of the Franks, became a Christian and was baptized in the Rems Cathedral by St. Remigius, The good bishop took away the royal coat of arms of three frogs, the symbol of ugliness, and replaced it with three lilies, the symbol of beauty and of purity. We handed the splinted cross, the blood-soaked cloak, and the redeeming promise of a risen Savior. Each and every moment of our lives, we are challenged, invited, 
and called to make that promise worth his effort. This solemn day, this feast of the baptism of our Lord, profound act, to be proud of our Catholic faith and to live it every single day. For if we are, and if we do, then one day we too will hear those same words of heaven, the ones that begin our blessed Lord's journey to save us all. You With heart and voice united, we profess our Catholic faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As the Savior is baptized and begins his public ministry, we bring these prayers to our Heavenly Father in the name of his divine Son. Prayer for our parish as we close this Christmas season that we might use each day to serve the newborn King and Savior, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation during these turbulent times, that people may seek understanding and may work together in harmony and peace. We pray to the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our loving Father, as we have celebrated the birth of your Son, so help us now to live his message each day, for he is our Lord forever and ever. Amen. The second collection this weekend is for our parish maintenance and repair fund. Many thanks for your the Almighty Father. Accept of him who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your 
Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the waters of the Jordan, your earth descending in the likeness of a dove, we might know that Christ, your servant, has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth. and Before your majesty, without end, we proclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. in a similar way, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of direction, especially Jason Naylor and Aurora Volucci, for whom we offer this Mass and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, St. Kevin, Saint praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Especially grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the newborn Lord be with you always.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only... With that, at one o'clock, all this goes away, and the decorations all come down. We don't like. humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.